Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. I'm calling this video if only I knew this before my driving test. Why? Because I'll be driving for 40 minutes like you would in the driving test to give you a mental picture how the driving test is like. Hopefully from this video you will learn how you should drive in the driving test. So seeing me how I drive hopefully it will help you to learn how you should in the driving test. So I'll give you a commentary for 40 minutes and that's how long you're going to be driving in the driving test. Hopefully it will help you, like I said, for your driving test. Let's start the lesson. Now always start with a positive mind and just take a deep breath and just make sure you're ready for this driving. You can't do it because you've been driving for a long time. You've been learning for a long time. You've had many lessons. And now you just have to prove that you could do the driving by yourself. So start with a positive mind. You've got your seatbelt on. And all my worries, I'm not thinking here. I'm living outside my car and I'm just putting full focus on this driving. And that's how you're going to pass your test. So to move off, clutch down, first gear, set the gas. And I have to, I have to make sure I look around. The blind spot is the most important. Blind spot. Signal. Blind spot again. And as I'm leaving, blind spot. And I go. Here we will be going left. Mirror, mirror. Signal left. Can't see clearly. So I'll be edging forward to see if it's safe. Still can't see. No, I can. There's no one coming. Now here we have a meeting situation. So I'll stop here. Leaving enough space here for the other car to go in. Put the handbrake on and wait. If I did go, it would have been a problem because there is no space over there. So you just have to make sure that you make that judgment if there is space there or not. So I'm still waiting. There is another car coming. So I'm now prepared as soon as this car goes, hopefully. There is not going to be another one behind it. Top mirror, left and right mirror to see anyone overtaking me. And I take the handbrake off as soon as this car goes. another car coming so there is a gap here so I'll just wait in the gap the car flashed asking me to see if it's safe to go just because they flashed don't just go without looking around make sure it's all safe crossroad coming up we'll be going straight on this crossroad top mirror I can't see who's coming it's like a closed junction Wait here, go to first gear. I'm gonna edge. There's no one coming. This car was signaling, but we have the priority because they are crossing. Mirror and a change of speed. So every time you change gear, you always look at the mirror first. Here we're gonna go on the right, top and right mirror. Signal right again, close junction. So I'm gonna to prepare to stop. First gear. There is a car coming and there is no one coming now, I'll be going, mirror, get the car straight, go to second gear, always look at the mirror as soon as you enter a new road and then go to second gear, mirror again, third gear, keep both hands on the wheel and just relax, it's all about relax, the more relaxed you feel, the more better you're going to drive. Looking at the problems, I got lots of parked cars. What could happen? Door could open. There's a cyclist who wants to go on their right. They're waiting. We have the priority, but just make sure you've seen. 
I'm going to stop here because there is a road on my left and I shouldn't be blocking that road if somebody wants to go into that road so you just wait before the road because there is no space on the other side put the handbrake on neutral and just relax mirror first gear I got this space over there to go so I'm just going to go on the other side looking at all the mirrors to feel safe mirror make sure you keep enough space from the car in front space so that if they break down you got the space to go around okay i'm break on neutral and i'm just gonna wait like i said the distance from the car in front if they break down you should have enough space to go around okay so that's how much space you should keep mirror all the mirrors there's no one crossing here because that's a zebra crossing mirror second gear again and I will stop and like I said enough space from the car in front put the handbrake on neutral rest your feet I've got plenty of cars front of me so there's no point having the car ready to go I could just stay neutral while the handbrake is on and just both hands on the wheel and just relax and wait on the traffic light we'll be going left so soon as it goes green, we look at the mirror, put the signal on and prepare to go. Make sure before you go, because you've been waiting here for a while, you want to make sure it's all safe all round. So when you get the car ready, look around all the mirrors before you go. It's all about being safe, isn't it? Passing the test is one thing and then you have to drive after that for the rest of your life. You have to make sure that you become a safe driver. Most of the time we concentrate just to pass the test. Life is not all about passing the test. It's all about how you're going to drive after you pass your test. More safe you are. This green now mirror. First gear. Look all the mirrors. As soon as the car in front goes, handbrake off. Don't take the handbrake off just because it's green. Make sure the car in front moves before you take the handbrake off. Mirror. Second gear. Still green. Okay came amber but we were too close to the line so it should be going mirror keep going car in front and mirror again and I'm gonna stop first gear I could see green so I'm just gonna put the handbrake on because the queue is quite long and I'm gonna prepare leave my hand on the handbrake as soon as the car in front moves mirror 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 and move off again second day now this is bus stop can you drive on bus stop yes you can on a bus lane you can't but bus stop mirror traffic light changing now this time the traffic light was changing and I stopped because I, I wasn't that close to the stop line over there I carried on because I was too close and you don't want to stop the car like an emergency it could be troubling for the car behind this time I had the space to stop this is why I stopped so just to make it clear over there, even though it's amber, I carried on because I was too close to the stop line. Here, I had the distance or the time to stop, so I stopped. I'm on neutral now, handbrake on, both hands on the wheel, and I'm waiting. Soon as the traffic light is changing, that's when I'm going to get ready. And um, Neutral is best to wait like that because it's good for your clutch. You're not burning petrol, good for your handbrake, and also it's good for your health because your feet is not working on your clutch and it's good for your clutch too while you're waiting just make sure you know what's around there could be a bike there could be a motorbike there is a bike actually on my right unless i look i'm not going to see mirror first gear all the mirrors there's a bike i could see and i carry on going mirror again second gear There's a road on my left. There's no one coming. Make sure you recognize as you're driving. Read the road as you're driving. The more you read, the more better. Park cars, are they going to move? There's a road on my right. Anyone coming from there? There's a road on my left. Car just went in. Is anyone coming out from there? 
traffic light is green, what could happen? Could change. So mirror, just be prepared. Okay. Mirror again, changing gear to third. Traffic light is green, but it doesn't mean it's gonna stay green. So I'm gonna look at the mirror and just go in a way. It's downhill. I'm gonna go down to second gear. green mirror carry on going I'm gonna go left here mirror mirror signal left look into the road make sure there's no problem there there could be somebody crossing the road I'm gonna stop somewhere safe on the left mirror mirror signal left and I'm stopping when you stop make sure you're not too far or too close meaning not hitting the pavement because see nice mirror, put the hambre, put the hambre on, neutral, both hands on the wheel and wait. Now when the examiner asks you to stop somewhere say from the left, make sure you look at the mirror, put the signal on and nicely stop. And as and you noticed as I was stopping, there was a road on my left. For me to stop after the road, when do I signal? I signal after the road. Many learners, they make the mistake of signaling too early, meaning there's a road and after the road, they need to stop, but they signal before the road. Just make sure be careful, as you noticed here. Just before I signaled, I waited until there was a road after the road I signaled and I stopped. Okay, so when you stop, just make sure you are close to the pavement. Just say you stopped and you are too far. I would put the umbre I would go to first gear and I would edge forward a little bit more to make it to correct that because that's part of the test. That's fine. So just because you finish a bit too far, it doesn't mean you have to. Stay there. You could just go a little bit forward and correct. Now I'm going to move off. Okay, the examiner said, move up, please. Clutch down, first gear, set the gas, look around, line spot, signal. And then as I go again, I could see it's clear. Clutch to the biting because this is on a hill. You want to make sure the car doesn't go back. There's no one coming blind spot again. And again, blind spot. Speed is 30, make sure you know the speed, make sure you read the road and know what the speed of the road is. Residential, I've got the street lights, so it's 30. But can I do 30? That's the question. Just because it's 30, can I do 30? If you can't, then do as much as you can. If it's safe, then yes, you should be driving it to 30. Mira, keep going. We saw people crossing. Roundabout coming up, both of them are going to go straight. So mirror, you could see a car reversing. The car on the other side, do I have the space to go? I do. Make sure you read, like I said, mirror again. Slow the car. Look on my right, because it's a roundabout. I'm on second gear now. There's nobody coming on my right. I'm going now again, another roundabout. Anybody on my right? There's nobody. Look around. It's a mini one. As I'm coming off, I should be signaling. Okay, I did signal, but it's a mini one. If you don't signal, it's fine. But because I maintain the speed so nice, I had plenty of time to signal. The reason you don't signal on a mini roundabout is because there is no time. So as you can see, I maintain the speed nicely, so I made time to signal. Even if you didn't, it's fine because it's a mini roundabout. You don't have time to signal. By the time you signal, you are already out. Second exit, mirror, mirror, signal right. I'm looking on my right. There's a car coming, I could see. They're going the other way, so I could just carry on going. 
as I'm coming off, I don't have to signal because it's too small. So on a mini roundabout to go right, you signal right, but to come off, you don't have to because it's too small. Mirror, third gear. The speed here is 20. Many learners make sure it's very difficult to drive 20 because it's like walking. So try to maintain your speed. And uh, this road is um, just where the test center is. Many learners here, they do fail for speeding here because maintaining 20 is quite difficult and they just take their eyes off from the speedometer and they speed and test center just around the corner. There's a parked car here, mirror, mirror, I'm gonna overtake. There's a bike coming. I've got this space just about. If I didn't, it's best to stop. Examiner said stop on the left, mirror, mirror signal left and I'm gonna stop here okay handbrake on neutral signal off okay when you stop obviously mirror mirror put the signal on and stop nicely and once you stop always put the handbrake on first go to neutral and then signal off so start from the bottom and you work your way up Handbrake, neutral, and then signal off. Both hands on the wheel and you wait, okay? Now the examiner is giving me to drive 20 minutes independent driving, okay? So if the examiner said at the end of the road, go left and then follow A3057, okay? So independent, so independent driving for 20 minutes. At the end, go left and then follow A3057. So I put the clutch down, first gear, look around, blind spot, signal, and just before I go, blind spot again, someone there, and I go. Mirror, second gear. Just relax, okay? Driving is all about staying relaxed. I know it's difficult, and you might say, yeah, but you're a driving instructor, but that's the only way you're gonna pass, okay? Being confident, you don't have to be a driving instructor. You as a person, you could just work on yourself too. Have the confidence. Mirror, mirror, I'm gonna go left. It's a close junction, also it's on a hill. Just be prepared so the car doesn't roll back when you stop. Go to first gear while the car is rolling. I go to the line. I'm doing the clutch control to the line. I'm looking both way and there's no one coming. There is a car, I put the handbrake on and do the clutch control while it's on first gear. I'm just gonna say relax and wait until the gap. The gap is there now. The car in front is not gonna go, so I'm gonna go. Mirror, second gear. Now following, don't forget, A3057. Okay, okay, the mirror, go to third gear. Every five seconds, five to eight seconds, look at the top mirror. The road is just long, it's a long stretch. Roundabout, we're gonna see A3057. Looks like it's second exit, straight ahead. So what do I do? Top and left mirror, no signal. I'm gonna stay in the left lane. And from here, I'm looking on my right. I'm gonna slow down a bit. And around here, keep looking, go to second gear. Keep looking, there's no one coming. Nice and gentle. And I'm gonna to go to the left lane. Second straight, meaning after the first, we signal mirror, mirror, and we signal here. Mirror. I did go to third gear because the roundabout is quite big and I'm driving about 20. As I'm coming off, all the mirrors, make sure there's no one overtaking me. Keep going. Don't touch the signal yet. Many learners, they try to take the signal off. It's gonna come off automatically. Once the car is straight, it should come off. If it doesn't, then take it off. Other than that, don't try to work on your um, signaling. You work on your steering. Traffic light is green. There's no one crossing. Keep going. Look at the top mirror. There's cars on the road on my left and right. There's no one coming. See, traffic light is green. Look how far I'm thinking. 
that's how you should be driving always look far ahead and think and read so that you are prepared early mirror start braking this is a bus stop can i drive on it yes i can it's not a bus lane it's a bus stop so i'm going and i'm stopping around here now here I stop on the bus stop. If the examiner asks you to stop somewhere safe on the left, then don't stop on the bus stop. But here I'm just following the traffic, which means I could stop on the bus stop. Okay? So just to make it clear, if the examiner asks you to stop somewhere safe on the left, then don't stop on the bus stop. Okay? But here I'm just following the traffic. So I'm stopping on the bus stop. The green now, mirror, mirror, go to first gear. And I'm going to take the handbrake off on the kind front moves. Now I'm going to take it off. Mirror again, second gear. Okay, I have the priority. Just make sure they don't go. Keep going. A3057 is a roundabout. Where is it? Second exit, straight ahead. So, mirror, mirror, no signal. It's a roundabout. Okay, I'm looking on my right. I'm reducing my speed. I'm going to second gear now. Look on my right, and there's no one coming. I'm going to go around. Mirror, mirror, signal left here. Look all the mirrors. Just make sure no one overtaking. Got mirror again, third gear. The speed is 30, as you can see the speed here. So I'm dead on 30. I'm looking at my speedometer every now and again, making sure I'm not speeding. So this road is safe to do 30. So I should be driving 30. Here, if I drive 20, I will fail for being too slow. The road is saying 30 and it's safe. Okay. A3057. Now, where is it? Third exit on the right. Also, the speed is changing. What's the speed? Many learners, they miss that. It's saying national speed limit, which is 60 on a single carriageway. We can't do now because it's a roundabout. But we have to bear, our, bear in mind that it's 60 from here. Mirror, mirror. Signal right. Right lane. Because we're on third on the right. Second gear up to the line, the one coming inside lane because third on the right. That's first. I'm still signaling. That's second, mirror, mirror. And around here, signal left, blind spot, blind spot, lane change. And as I enter, what's the speed? 60, mirror, third gear. And it's 60, right? Okay. Make sure many learners they miss that. They miss the national speed limit sign if you don't miss that if you do you're confused now what to drive mirror fourth gear and i the road is safe so i'm going to do 60. just look at the mirror every now and again making sure it's all safe the more relaxed you are better you're gonna drive I keep saying that I keep saying make sure it's your test make a day show the examiner what you made of now he says he's slow so what does that mean he's saying go a little bit less than 60 the road is 60 so if I'm going 60 he's saying go a little bit less than 60 many learners they are already slow maybe they're doing 50 you don't have to slow anymore because your, your speed is already slower than it should be okay so slow means go slower than the road speed so here slow again, so I'm, I'm 50 now, and that's fine. Why is it saying slow? It's because there's a road here, there's a road over there, and it's just saying maybe somebody wants to just join. So just giving you a warning, there's a bend coming up, there's a road coming up, be aware, be a little bit slower than the road speed. Say so slow here again, why? because there's a bend coming up. Now the examiner changing the direction and saying, follow North Baddesley, okay? So we've been driving A3057 so far. So it's 
still bent. This is saying slow. So I'm looking for North Baddesley sign. Okay. Now I could see the sign. North Baddesley is second exit on the right on this roundabout. Second on the right. Mirror, mirror. Signal right. And I'm going to be on the right lane. my right slow the car about here go to second gear look on my right no one coming I'm already in second now this is first mirror mirror signal left by sport and this is the road mirror 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 what's the speed as you can see it's still 60 make sure as soon as you enter the new road always look for the speed because this is a new road and it doesn't have to be 60. So you have to know that is it still 60. So we know because there's a sign telling us. every five to eight seconds if it's a long stretch of road we we'll look at the mirror now remember we are following north Baddesley now okay north Baddesley second exit straight ahead can you see on the sign in the roundabout second ahead which means we need the left lane now look on the floor because we need the left lane unless the road marking tells you otherwise so what does it say here we can't use the left lane because it's only going left so we need to use the right lane mirror mirror slow the car slow the car no one coming on my right i'm gonna go to second gear no one coming and mirror mirror signal left what's the speed again like i said as soon as you enter new road always look for the speed what's the speed it's still 60 national speed limit now here like i said roundabout we needed the left lane to go straight unless the road marking tells you other ways so always look on the floor if the road is telling you other ways because we couldn't come straight from the left lane here because the roundabout had a sign saying you can't go straight from the left lane so make sure you know and you read and the sign on the floor what the road is saying now we're gonna go right just after the traffic light now the examiner is giving you speed is 40 from here mirror mirror signal right okay slow the car go to second gear no one coming ahead nice and smooth and we enter what's the speed starting 30 okay so it was 60 40 now 30 you don't want to miss that make sure when you enter the new road always read and see what the speed is now there's a cycle lane on the left so don't go into the cycle lane unless there's someone coming and there's no space then look at the mirror go in and then come out again because obviously you shouldn't be driving on the cycle lane so i'm not driving on the cycle lane because there's no one coming and i'm just driving on my lane dead on 30 it's a long stretch of road 30 you could drive fourth gear so if it's a long stretch and you're going to be driving 30 for a while you could go to fourth gear if you know that you're not going to be driving for too long if there's a problem over there then you could leave it to third gear are going on a hill maybe the road is bare hilly and you're on fourth gear on 30 if you feel it's not making or car is making that shake go down to third gear but for me it's fine it's a long stretch and 40 30 fourth gear is fine there's a road on my left no one coming now every now and again make sure you look around there's a car coming out did you see that car i did but there's plenty of space. The car just going in. Did you notice that? Okay. Dead on 30. Part car. Road on my left. There's another road on my left. I saw that boy on his scooter. Just make sure you recognize that. Speed 
coming up is 50. because I can't see anything now I can mirror mirror there's no one there I didn't overtake before because I couldn't see anything mirror mirror come back again so let's look at the mirror before we go around next road on the right mirror mirror signal right slow the car there is a car coming, so we're not going to go. I'm going to stop around here, in line with the road that we want to go in, the middle line. There's no one. As soon as the car goes, I enter in the middle, mirror, second gear. What's the speed here? Saying 30, but 20 is plenty. Which means that as the school around, look at the time. Is it 9 o'clock in the morning or is it 3 o'clock? Think of driving 20 because school around, children around. Other than that, if it's safe, it's 30. Okay. At the end of the road, we are going left. So end is quite far. Don't signal too early. Yeah, mirror, mirror. And about now signal. The road is closed, meaning we can't see anything. So we're going to go in a way so that we we'll see if it's safe to go. Slow more. Position, make sure the road bends to go with the road. First gear. There's plenty of cars. I'm going to wait here. Put the handbrake on. And keep looking. Keep looking. Just stay relaxed, there's plenty of cars. The gap is there now. And break off and go now. Mirror, second gear. Obviously, 
no signal to go straight on the roundabout. Okay. I'm going to slow the car. Look on my right. And look how the road is laid out. Steer with the road. Many they miss that. So go with the road. Oh, coming. So the second gear. Okay, good. After the first mirror, mirror. Signal left. And maintain your lane. As I'm coming off, mirror, mirror, mirror. Come back on, neutral, both hands on the wheel, and wait. It's changing, mirror, mirror, mirror. First gear, prepare my handbrake. Now the kind front moves, all the mirrors again. Mirror again, second gear. space on the other side always be aware if you're gonna stop is there a road on my left because like I said you don't want to block that road if somebody wants to go in you'll be blocking them lots of traffic here but I'm just gonna stay relaxed keeping the distance from the car in front and break on neutral like I said make sure you go to neutral and go to um, and bring the clutch up because it's good for your clutch Good for your feet, the health. Also, you're not burning any petrol. Good for the environment. <laughs> mirror, mirror, first gear. Make sure there's no one overtaking. Mirror again, second gear. It's changing now. Looks like it's flood here. So I'm just gonna go slowly. I need the middle lane to go straight. I'm not going left or right. In this case, I need the middle lane to go straight. So just to confirm, normally to go straight is always the left lane, unless the road marking is telling you otherwise. Always remember, you have a rule and then you have exception. So in this case, the exception is the road is telling me to go straight. I need the middle lane. Okay. So it's always the left lane unless the road marking is telling me otherwise. Or maybe road work is telling me otherwise. Okay. Same with the roundabout over there. You saw we needed the left lane to go straight. But the road marking changed it. And it was telling us that we needed the right lane. Okay. 
So it's always you have a rule and then you have the exception. So follow the rule, always look for the rule and then follow the exception. So for example, um, I'm approaching a roundabout, approaching a traffic light. I need to go straight. I should always be driving on the left lane, but I'll be looking on the floor if there's exception. Because here, the exception is we have to be in the middle lane to go straight. I'm waiting here with the handbrake on, neutral. Rest my feet and relax. Now it's changing, mirror, first gear, all the mirrors, and then I go. Mirror again, second gear. Keep the distance from the car in front. So also distance should be two seconds and if it's raining it should be four seconds mirror keep driving okay do i have the space to go i do now i'm going to go to third gear here i need to go straight okay so normally do i need the left lane yes i do but there could be exception look on the floor and you will know so what does the floor say the floor is saying i need the right lane okay why as you could see the left lane is not going straight okay so always remember that it's always left lane to go straight unless road mark is telling me otherwise first here all the mirrors straight on we have the priority but just make sure they don't just go in front of us. read more and try to understand what's happening put the handbrake on neutral i'm gonna rest just to make sure traffic light is still red now it's green all the mirrors and just make sure that boy the scooter again is here again okay remember they don't have driving lessons so they're more vulnerable like the cyclist just be more careful, especially when you're overtaking. Early position, so that make sure as you pass, make sure you know. We see a McDonald's on our left. Just make sure there's no one coming out. The, the, this car wants to go in, but they're gonna go before us. Just read that, make sure you know. I'm gonna go next road left, mirror, mirror. Signal left, can you see? Road is narrow, so speed is going to be low. Second gear. Anyone crossing? No one crossing. Any problem in the road? It's a mirror. It's fine. I can't see clearly. I'm going to go slowly. Anyone coming? Park car, park car. There could be somebody coming. Here, I'm driving in the middle because I need to give space on the left and on the right. If there's somebody coming, I'm going to make space for them. Mirror, third gear. There is a car coming, I could see, I'm reading already. So I'm making space for the mirror, mirror. Just come in here. And I'm gonna make a space for them. Go to second gear, and they go mirror, mirror, and I carry on going. It's all about timing as well, how you time yourself. I'm gonna go left, mirror, mirror. Signal left. I'm gonna go to first gear because the road is too narrow. 
and I'm gonna go slowly. I can't see, now I can, but I couldn't see before. Let's drop somewhere safe on the right, mirror, mirror, single right, right hand side, blind spot. Let's drop behind that car. Around here, stop. And break on, neutral, rest your feet. Now the examiner said, reverse two car back which is one of the parking in the UK, to stop on the right, reverse, and then move off. So now the examiner said to reverse two car. For me to reverse, I need to look at the back mainly. So I'm going to position myself slightly towards that way. That's going to give me good um, position to look at the back. If I just stay there, it'd be difficult for me to look at the back. So position yourself slightly so it's easier to look. Clutch down, reverse gear. Look around from here. There. Now I started looking from here. Why? Because this is the way I'm going to be looking. So start from here. Look around. There's no one coming. I'll make off. Look at the back. And I'm going back. Back mainly. Every now and again looking around. Okay. Mirror. And I'm looking at the side mirror to see I'm my close to the pavement. There's a car coming. I'll wait for them. They're gone now. Look around quickly again. So every time a car comes, always stop. And before you go again, quickly glance again. One there. I'm looking close to the pavement. Go. I need to go two cars back. So I'm looking, looking around. I'm looking, looking at the back, looking around. Anyone coming? Okay. I'm close to the pavement nicely, nice and close. If not, I'm going to be doing steering to go close. Keep going, two cars, and stop. And break on, neutral. You noticed, when I stopped, I looked at the back and I stopped. Make sure, when the car is going back, look at the back and stop looking at the back because that's where the car is going, okay? Now I need to move off. So get my position back on again, okay? Now I'm back to my normal position. I need to move off. Clutch down, first gear. Start looking from here and then go there. Why? Because that's the way I am moving. If I'm on the other side, I start looking from here and go there and because that's the way I'm moving. This time I'm moving this way. So where do I start? From here, all the way, the signal. And then because of that car, from my position, I can't see clearly. So I'm just gonna edge a little bit. There's no one coming from here. You could see clear, but I can't see anything there. So I'm edging. There's no one coming. Now I could see no one. Fly through quickly and no one coming. Mirror, second gear. Okay, that's it for this video and I hope it helps. If you need extra help on learning to drive and to pass a driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course, which gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass a driving test. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. If you like it, you could always join the course. And for this video, that's it for now. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.